Welcome to Empowered by Iron, hosted by Dr. Kristen Lander from Fiercely Fuel Nutrition Coaching and Mary Morton, PhD candidate and weightlifter. Together, we are Empowered by Iron. Hey everyone, welcome to Empowered by Iron. This week we have Lauren Rutan on again. This is our new Mid-Atlantic MPC figure champion overall. Um, We wanted to have Lauren on today to talk about kind of some of the things that have happened to her recently, how she's fighting through them, and what's next for her. So, hi, Lauren. Hi. How's it going? Good. How are you? Doing pretty damn well, I would say. (laughs) (laughs) Good, good. Okay, so... You know, um, I mean, first of all, congrats. And Thank you. Yeah, if you guys didn't see Lauren's Instagram posts, you need to go check them out because she just placed <laughs> first in, overall in a figure competition and was looking jacked. And leading into it, you are also super strong. I think you PR'd your sumo deadlift, right? Yep, yep. Awesome. What did you pull on that deadlift? Because it was a lot. Uh, 355 for two. That's amazing. And you only weigh like 120 pounds? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. So, so we'll get into... Good breakthrough. Absolutely. We'll get into some of the, um, some of your training here in a minute, but one of the things, um, that after we asked you to come on, um, that we had found out about that we really wanted to give you a platform to talk about, um, was that you have had kind of an unfortunate series of events that have led to a USAPL suspension. And so we really want to hear your story and hear what happened there. Uh, yeah, I mean, it started, uh, I wasn't feeling too good, I was getting ready for the Arnold, um, uh, something that had been going on, but I'd never, I really cared or paid attention about was, um, I never really had a period for four years after I had my fourth child, and, um, I never really had periods before I had kids either, they told me I wouldn't be able to have kids, ever, um, so, uh, but I never thought anything of it. Um, you know, I'm 33 years old. I probably should have been watching more carefully, but, um, I started getting insulin resistance and just, uh, my, I would have blood pressure spikes and, um, just, it, I wasn't feeling myself. So I went to the doctor and, um, I was, uh, premenopausal. All my, uh, female hormones had tanked and, uh, making my ratio off. So that's what I was in the specialist in the waiting room, actually, when I had gotten the email from USAPL and was in tears about it because I said I was at the doctor for like every day for two weeks prior to that, doing tests and everything like that. So, um, yeah, so we've been on a little bit of a roller coaster there. Uh, I also had all my cortisol was three times what it was what it should be so um we've done things a little bit squared away from that but um still monitoring my hormone levels and all that and um i'm in the appeal process right now with usapl i've got doctor's letters and all my blood work and all that so how long ago was this was this like this is pretty recent right because the results just came out Yeah, it was, um, I had tested in December, and uh, I didn't find out until two weeks before the Arnold. So, um, there's some also other stuff that's going on, not able to talk about it right now, but just about the whole testing procedure, how it went down, so. Oh, shit, so you spent however many weeks prepping for the Arnold, and two weeks before, they were like, just kidding, you can't participate. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was uh, crying for three days straight, and then my emotions just went the other way and just got mad, so (laughs) Uh, then back and forth with it, but there's other things in life, so I'm trying to get over it and work through it. That's all you can do. So you're, the thing that I think a lot of 
females don't really take seriously is just like you said, your you know your your menstrual cycle, your period, and the hormones involved. Um, there's a huge health risk for not actually paying attention to those, and oh yeah, yeah. one of them is sure. this. So, um, if you could offer advice to women, maybe who have missed a few periods, what is something like you would immediately? Would you like get them to talk to a nutritionist or go to their doctor? Like what? Right, yeah, I would. I would definitely go to the doctor and just get like a regular panel done on your hormone levels because they say like um, you can go up to a year without having a period, but after that, then things start to get a little off. So I mean, yeah, I went almost. Well, it was like four and a half years I went without one. So, um, like I said, I didn't pay any attention to it because that's how I was when I grew up, and you know, I was done having kids. So I was like, well. I'm not having a period. That's fine with me. But yeah, can't right. you can't go that long. <laughs> so the test is the test the the ratio of testosterone to estrogen or testosterone to yeah. testosterone. Yeah, testosterone to estrogen. estrogen. So my estrogen was very low, like zero, and then my testosterone was up, trying to make up for that. Oh wow. Oh, that's, yeah. that's really difficult. And so, because you didn't test positive for any certain substance. It was just your ratio that was off. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that just sucks. Well, I, yeah. I wish you luck in fighting that appeal process. But in the meantime, and even before that, before you found out about that, you were planning to get back on stage and do a figure competition, right? Yep, yep. This is my 10-year anniversary for um, competing. I competed 10 years ago for four years, and then um, I started having kids, so I haven't been on stage in 10 years, so I wanted to do something this year. So, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. That's I remember you, so you were on our fifth episode, and I think this is 35? And so 30 episodes later, and I remember you telling yeah. us then that you wanted to get, you thought you might be getting on stage again. So yeah, awesome. yeah. I just didn't know if I was ready with kids and stuff because, you know, there's a bunch of kid food around, but <laughs> I'm yeah. surviving. Well, and the amazing thing is, so you ha- you were having all this hormone difficulty, which makes weight loss really challenging. And so how on earth? Yeah, you- that was. Yeah, that was another thing that stuck out to me when I was getting ready for the Arnold and stuff. Like, I couldn't lose any weight. I mean, not even, like, two pounds. And I'm like, you know, something's wrong. I, you know, I know how to diet and all that, and it just wasn't just going anywhere. So, yeah, that was from my, uh, dude, my cortisol, and um, a lot of people don't believe in adrenal fatigue, but uh, that's what the doctors told me I had, so that. And uh, my cortisol, after I got those two things figured out, then, you know, I was able to lose weight. But, so, a lot of people have this misconception with uh, adrenal fatigue, and they're like, oh, I've worked out seven days in a row for two weeks, I'm tired. But, like, you, yeah. it, it's, it almost seems like training, nutrition coaching, I mean, that's your full-time job and mom, right? So, like, yeah. you, you, are, you are running full all the time. So, adrenal fatigue can, is an actual thing, listeners, are empowered by other yes. people, and <laughs> but it, it's not usually what the bros talk about. It's it's legit. Like you feel like shit. Yeah. You can't lose weight. Like it's horrible, and it's chronic. Yeah. It's because of chronic, chronic. Not like five days in a row. This is like months on months yeah. on months or years. Yeah, years. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, all yep. right. So talk to us. Um, so you are looking incredibly jacked. And um, <laughs> I'm sure even after all of the treats you had after your show, you're still jacked as hell. So, <laughs> um, mm-hmm. but so one of the reasons we wanted to have you on is because I've been doing a lot of research about hypertrophy training and how that leads to better strength gains. And um, so here I knew you were training for a figure competition. And then all of a sudden I saw you on Instagram doing a sumo deadlift, um, which was a huge PR 355 for two for you. And I was like, yes, this, this, this <laughs> ties in perfectly to everything I've been reading about lately. So talk to us yeah. about your training right now. Cause you're still doing some power lifting and you had been doing some bodybuilding. So talk to us about that training leading up to this figure competition. Yeah. So I'm still getting ready for uh, USTA nationals in July 
Um, that's in Vegas. So I'm still training. I do powerlifting two days a week. Um, and then the other days is strictly bodybuilding. So, um, I mean, I do nothing less than 20 reps of everything. Oh. So, <laughs> I, I mean, every single day, it's 20 reps or more. Which and, is incredible. Um, yeah, that's, it's, it's been a huge help in my progress. So on a scale from one to super important, how important are all these accessory movements, all this hypertrophy training to your powerlifting career? Oh, I think it's very, very important. Every first time beginner powerlifter, that's my first advice is just go freaking do bodybuilding work and you'll get stronger. Like you, there's, I mean, you have, you need to learn how to, you know, uh, do technique work, but still, like, other than that, there's no reason for you to be doing, like, threes or fives even. Like, it needs to be up there. Right. And, and body, I have... Go ahead. Yeah, bodybuilding work it just helps every muscle that you can ever work. It's just, it's amazing. Well, I was shocked when I heard you say 20 or more reps because when <laughs> I... <laughs> I've been doing, I did a hypertrophy cycle in between my two surgeries and I was doing sets of like eight to 10, which felt like cardio to me because I'm so used to doing like heavy singles or triples in my training, you know, like true strength yeah. training, but it is really important to be doing some higher rep stuff. And when you said 20 or 30 reps, I about fell out of my chair because <laughs> I felt uh, yeah. It sucks doing it, but after you finish, you it you feel so much more stronger. I bet, and you're absolute living proof of that. So, <laughs> I had a question yeah. going back to your um, all your hormone stuff. So, um, I know that you, so you're a nutrition coach. You obviously know mm -hmm. your shit, um, and you're you're healthy, right? Like you would consider yourself relatively healthy. You eat your veggies and fruits and stuff. Yeah, for yeah. sure. So it it's crazy to me to think that you had to go through an insulin test. And did it come up that you're pre-diabetic? Yes, it did. I was uh, like three points away from the, where they would start di giving you medicine for that. So that and that's absolutely insane to me because you, if you look at you, you don't, you wouldn't look at you and go, oh, Lauren Rutan, obviously pre-diabetic, let's move on. Yeah. You know, you look at you and you're like, oh, you are kind of, you're one of the icons of the powerlifting now and figure world, you know, you're, you are kind of the yeah. epitome of what a lot of people want to be. And to think that hormones people can affect all yeah. this so much is just crazy. Yeah, when you're, yeah, when you're a female and your female hormones tank, then your body is relying on insulin and testosterone. And obviously those two things are going to make you not okay and going to make you gain weight. So, I mean, those, that's all your body has to rely on. Uh -huh. Well, I just... So that's when I, had, that's when I had to go on keto. Was oh, because of the insulin. that's right. The that insulin makes resistance. a lot of sense. Yeah, because yeah. you couldn't handle the carbs. No, because it was too much, and then that's when I'd have, if I did eat too many carbs, then that's when I'd have the blood pressure spikes. Wow. So, yeah. Well, And I then I had, I had the um, tingling and numb toes and feet and uh, fingers, like if I would have too much carbs as well. So those are the other things that I would notice after, you know, eating. Holy cow. And so you are a nutrition coach, right? Have you ever had yeah. clients come to you with these kinds of problems? And can you fix some of this, like, no period? Because we've talked about it before on the podcast, but, like, what do you do for your clients if they come to you and they say, hey, I haven't had a period in six months? Like, what do you, yeah, what do, yeah, you do? I really – no one has ever told me – none of my clients have ever come and told me that. But, um, yeah, I would have been the first case that I've seen. Um, but, yeah, I, I have a couple people that are diabetic. And they do strict keto. Uh, that, that's why they do the keto diet is because they're uh, diabetic. Hmm. So Interesting. Well, I just yeah. think that it's so amazing that um, you've accomplished everything that you've accomplished with these health issues. And I feel like if you can get them straightened up, like, whoa, what is going <laughs> to, what does the future yeah. hold for Lauren Routine? Yeah. 
yeah, I mean, even the doctors were like, I don't know how you're even, like, working out. And I was like, well, I feel like absolute dog shit. But <laughs> I was like, I know I have to do it, so I go and do it. But they're like, if you smell good, you could do so much better. I'm like, really? <laughs> you're like, what is this feeling good? I don't understand what you're talking yeah. about. <laughs> I'm just cranking down the caffeine trying to stay alive here. <laughs> yeah. So you have USPA Nationals in July, which I'm sure you're ramping up your training for that right now. So how is that training different? Are you still keeping in some of the bodybuilding or have you, do you have your base for that and you're just going full bore into strength or what are you doing now? Well, after last weekend when I won uh, the overall, um, that qualified me for junior nationals for a figure. Oh, and hell yeah. In- yeah, that's in three weeks in Chicago. So I'm taking a big gamble and I'm going. And then three weeks after that, I'll have powerlifting nationals. <laughs> I mean, yeah, so totally, totally crazy, but I'm going for it. <laughs> no, no, you're an athlete. Athletes are supposed to be a little bit crazy, I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I just, I, I went back and forth with it in my head and, um, I worked really hard to get like stage ready, if you want to call that. Um, so I, I want to do another one. I just worked too hard to get here just for one show. So, um, and I, you know, that qualified me for junior nationals. I mean, there are other local shows around here, but I'm like, if I'm going to do another one, then heck, I'm going to try to go to nationals. <laughs> Absolutely. Why not go to the next step? I totally agree. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. My exciting. ultimate, yeah. My ultimate goal is to get my pro card. So. Oh my that's gosh. What I want. That would be awesome. That would be amazing. All right. Yeah. I know you can do it. So, yeah, I'm still doing uh, powerlifting two times a week and bodybuilding the rest. And we're going to just see how it goes until, I mean, I today I benched. The only thing that I felt that was suffering a little bit was my bench. So, um, But today we actually benched heavy, and I did five by two at 185. So I think I think my bench is still good, so I have hope. I mean, so I'll be, I guess. <laughs> That's all right. I'll be competing at uh, powerlifting nationals in the uh, 56 kilo weight class. Since I've lost weight, so I'll just stay lower. Right, because you're tiny. Yeah. You worked hard to get that weight off. Yes, yes. Well, in keeping it in keeping it off for what? It's another, you know, six weeks, basically. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You'll be you'll be all right and you'll maintain your strength. So that's awesome. Well, keep us posted on how everything goes. We'll definitely be following and cheering for For you. We're really excited for all the changes and definitely your proof that like when something bad arises, you can just um, keep pushing forward and find new things to move on to. So I'm really proud of you. For sure. For sure. There's other things in life than USAPL. (laughs) <laughs> that is that is for sure. So where yeah. can all of our listeners find you, Lauren? Uh, Instagram Instagram is uh, rutan422, and then my email is rutan422 at gmail.com. All right. Anything else? No, I don't think so. <laughs> Thank you so much. We'll, we will talk to you. Maybe we'll have you on in another six weeks and see what's going on. <laughs> All right, sounds good. Anytime. All right, thank you. Bye. Bye. If you like what you heard today, please help us connect with other female badasses. Um, We would love if you would leave us a review on iTunes, tell your friends about us, um, visit our website, which is empoweredbyiron.com. You can find each of us on Instagram. Mary is at marymo underscore 92, and Kristen is at Kristen with an I. Lander. Um, Future topics will include nutrition, programming and training, mental health, and just general female badassery. Yeah, so let us know what you want to hear. If you have any input, that'd be awesome. Um, And guys, this is Empowered by Iron is, we want it to be a resource and an outlet for women who are finding their confidence, their independence, and their strength through iron. So thank you for listening. Thank you for checking in, and until next time, I'm Mary, I'm Kristen, and this is Empowered by Iron.